Alright, let's go. And we want level nine. even more wind today than there was yesterday man it's crazy oh it's all coming my way too I think that's a cop way up there also I did get a little foam piece for the GoPro so I'm hoping that it cuts down the wind noise a lot but I won't know until I uh, check out this footage when I get home. Woo! Yeah, I think it's one of the windy days. That's how you know it's a good windy day because people are flying kites. I have not seen someone fly a kite in one. I need two sweaters on the day. It is freezing. Overall, it's still a nice day. And it looks like everything's backed up again, so kind of get used to it around this uh, section right here. We normally go around everybody. One thing I do like about this bike is being able to go around everybody. It's always fun. Oh. I bought a charger off a of Sir Monster. I got it in my backpack right now, which I'm gonna now keep at work. I'm getting tired of bringing my charger back and forth with all my extra clothes for work and all the tools I got just in case something happens to the bike so thank god I can have an extra charger just to leave at work so thank you for that sir oh man
pretty busy today. It is about noon rush hour traffic. Bikers coming up. Man, I just need to get over. Let's go, people. Let's go. I normally take this way because it goes through a little neighborhood, so I'm not really on the main roads. Because we all know these uh, bikes aren't technically street legal. I know there's a company, I think, I think it's called BikeLegal.com, and you can get these registered. They do it out of state, so you can ride your bike, you get plates on it and everything. And I want to say it's 400 bucks if all you have is the bill of sale since there is no VIN number on these bikes and another thing too um, I called for insurance I think it was I think it was progressive no I'm sorry it was farmers insurance they told me it was 112 bucks full coverage for the whole year for this bike if I wanted to get it covered just in case I hit somebody or someone hits me or it gets stolen um, I think it was good for up to $4,000. I sent the guy the link for the bike and everything so he saw what it was. I guess they... I guess they had to put them underneath the off-road category. But he said you should be fine to use it on the road. Because I told him it's technically, you know, uh, an electric bike, which it is. And he knew I rode it on the street, but I think he's putting it as a actual electric bike. I'm gonna get blown off the road here, I swear. I feel like when I started recording these videos about three days ago, it started getting windy. And now it's just getting worse every day. go back to closing my visor because I'm getting a bunch of stuff in my eyes. I think one of these days I'm gonna have to go way over there. I don't know if you can see it in the background, but it's a huge hill. They're uh, making that high-speed uh, railroad, whatever. They've been doing it for years. But that looks like fun over there. This bike isn't fast, but I do feel like the way normal people drive you're a lot faster out of the hole and you can go around people pretty quick. something about these bikes and it's the simple fact that once these once these batteries are a little hot like after I've done about half my ride to work I noticed that the bike is actually faster once the batteries have warmed up I feel like when they're straight cold after uh, it's set overnight it's it doesn't have that pull to it, but once the batteries warm up, it has uh, more of a pull. Alright, let's go, let's get out of here. So 
funny story, the very first day I rode my bike to work. I came in here and they are doing construction. They didn't have a lot of this up yet. They actually made a lot so far. Um, I got a flat. Popped it right here, big old nail. And of course, I had to limp it to work for the next probably two miles. I had to, obviously I had to make it. I'm done. This is my little route to work. I'm gonna try to take this little trail here one of these days. Um, a lot of people that walk to our store, I think they use that trail, but I'll do it on one of my off days just in case I run into a roadblock and have to turn around. We were at the bottom of the overpass, but still hit 61, not too bad. Lost my balance for a second. So that's pretty much uh, my way to work. I thought I would just make a little recording. If I have enough battery, um, on my way back, I'll do some night footage. All right, I'll see you guys. I wanted to show you guys what the mile per hour was on that run. 61.09. Not too bad. And let's see what our uh, voltage is at. We're at 62.3 volts, 83%. It's about a 6.7 mile ride to my work.